right, we're going to get into um, a little bit of difficult math today. So get your pencil ready. I'd like you to write this down. So you may have to push pause a few times to get everything in. First slide, a lot of words. We have some definitions, things to clarify. We're working on the fundamental theorem of algebra. Um, yes, you're in the middle of Algebra 2 and you're just learning about the fundamental theorem of algebra. But um, today we're going to use what's called the fun fundamental theorem of algebra um, and its corollary, which is just an extra rule, to write a polynomial equation of least degree with given roots. So we're going to write a long polynomial after you've been given its roots. And we're going to identify all of the roots of a polynomial equation, both complex and real, um, even if there's a multiplicity. So far, we have learned these things. First of all, a real number, which is r, is a root of the polynomial of the equation p of x equals 0. Um, if you plug in r for the polynomial, evaluate it, you're going to get a remainder of 0. r is an x-intercept and a 0 of the polynomial. So if you graphed it, where the graph crosses the x-axis is r. It's an x-intercept and a 0 and a root of the polynomial. x minus r is a factor of the polynomial. And when you divide the rule, the polynomial, for p of x by the factor, your remainder is 0. That's a review of what we've done so far in this unit. Um, so just to remind you of everything, because we're using everything that we've learned. Okay, so first, we're going to write the simplest polynomial with these three roots. So that means x equals negative 1, x equals 4, and x equals 2 thirds. Those are the roots that are given to us. In previous sections, we've learned to solve and find those roots. So now we're working backwards. So we're going to set all of these equal to 0 and put them as their factors and multiply them binomial, two binomials at a time. So FOIL this, you get this. Um, first outer inner last gives you this trinomial and then you multiply it by this binomial. Okay, this can be done with a table or with factoring. And what I would expect you to, you to be doing right now is writing this out, pushing pause, and trying to work through the multiplication to make sure you understand it. Um, distribute this red polynomial through the black one and you get this long blue one. Do some multiplying, collect like terms, and we have our answer. So not terribly difficult. We've done stuff like this already. You're just um, multiplying binomials for a purpose now. Okay, same example but with root 0, 3, and 2 thirds. That means x equals 0, x equals 3, and x equals 2 thirds. Set up your three sets of parentheses and multiply them to the first two. So if we did first, outer, inner, last, we get this binomial. Multiply it by this red one. Again, you can FOIL it. You get this long polynomial. Collect like terms and you are done. Like I said, I would be expecting you guys to try to work along with the example. Multiply and add to get, to get the same answer that I got. Okay, the fundamental theorem of algebra. Every polynomial function with a degree greater than or equal to 1 has at least one zero, one root, where a zero may be a complex number. That means every polynomial function of degree n greater than or equal to 1 has exactly n zeros, including multiplicities. We're going to try to find every single one of our zeros now using what we've learned in the previous units, the previous sections. So using all we've learned, we can factor any polynomial. Okay, this example is going to go in two slides. So write down what we have here, and then when we move the slide, it'll be continued on to the next one. 
this long polynomial. It has a degree of 4, therefore I need to find 4 roots. We've learned the rational root theorem, which is p over q. p is your constant. q is your leading coefficient, 36 over 1. We can use that plus and minus 36 over plus and minus 1 to make a list of all possible roots. 1, so I'm, I'm listing all the factors. 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, 6 times 6. These are all the possible roots for this polynomial, and that is a yikes. That's a lot of options. But we're going to try to narrow down those options by graphing the polynomial and finding one or two of the real roots. Continue. Please graph this on your calculator to find the real roots. I've sketched the graph very basically here, and I've traced this polynomial to try to find where I get um, the x-intercepts. So you can go to your table and look for y equals 0, or you can just trace your polynomial um, and find negative 1 and 4. And if you look on that previous slide, 1 and 4 were one of the po or two of the possible roots that we listed, the p over q. So test the possible real zeros. That means that if you do synthetic division, you're going to get a remainder of 0, and it will be a root. So we're testing it. I'm going to start out with negative 1. With These are the coefficients in front of the variables. Do your synthetic division. Negative 1, add multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. I got a remainder of 0. That means that it's one of the roots. So I factored out an x plus 1, and there is the remaining polynomial. If I start out with an x to the 4th, I factor an x out. I'm left with an x to the 3rd minus 4x squared plus 9x minus 36. Those are the coefficients. Let's do that one more time with the 4. I use the coefficients here, 1, negative 4, 9, 36, 1, negative 4, 9, negative 36. Multiply, add, multiply, add, I have a remainder of 0. That means that 4 is a root. So I have x plus 1, x minus 4, and what's left over? x squared, that's a 0x plus 9. Okay, set each one of those parentheses equal to 0 and solve for x. x equals negative 1, x equals 4, this one needs to be solved a little bit further. x equals plus or minus 3. I got four roots. Okay, complex, two real. Let's try one more example. Solve this polynomial by finding all the roots. I need four roots again. I do p over q, which is negative 20 over 1, and I list all my possible roots. 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. Graph this polynomial in your calculator and either use your table or um, just trace your graph and look that it crosses the x-axis at negative 5 and 1. Negative 5 and 1 are on the list. So I think it's going to work, but let's test them. Okay, synthetic division. Okay, multiply, add, multiply, add, I have a remainder of 0. I'm not going to write this is going to be x minus 1 times this polynomial. I can just go ahead and transfer these numbers down and do it again. Okay, negative 5. Multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, another remainder of 0. So I know both 1 and negative 5 are roots of that polynomial. Okay, the 1 is x minus 1, the negative 5 is x plus 5, and then what we have left over is x squared, 0x plus 4. That is my factored polynomial. So x equals 1, x equals negative 5, solve this last binomial, plus or minus 2i. I got four roots again. Okay. Um, go ahead and try one of those on your own and make sure you can get the same answer. Use your calculator and double check everything and you'll be more confident in the morning.